Right, guys, we are back once again. Uh, yeah, we're back. Episode, and you know what, let me do this properly. Welcome back to the Ricky Tura podcast, episode 21. And yeah, that's that's it. Thank you, guys. I'll see you next week. No, no, for real. Um, yeah, it's... Um, I don't really know what to say, you know, just because this was very last minute, well not last minute as in like, I didn't plan this episode properly, because I've had a very busy day yesterday, um, well not very, but a little bit more than usual uh, with the shop, so I literally wrote what was top of, on the top of my mind um last night really so it wasn't last minute but it was kind of like late planned uh but uh they are topics that i i wanted to talk about i didn't just write stuff down and just say you know what i'm just gonna blend it and just do it these are actual topics um that i looked at my other sheets as well because i write more than four ideas down um, and then obviously I cross the ones out that I don't want to talk about and I go with the ones I do so I kind of went through previous notes about the stuff that I haven't talked about and then I added a few things that was on top of my mind as well uh, before I talk about the four things uh, I just want to let you guys know that I've just had a look before I've press the record button basically at the data uh, briefly looked at the data like for literally like two seconds uh, and America is well on my phone for some reason it's different on my phone than to my computer so I don't know if this is 100% true but apparently 50% of the podcast audience is from the United States um, I will properly look into that maybe at the end of this episode, um, just to see if that is correct, because uh, I, I thought the UK would have been more, but the UK is second now on that list, uh, so big up America, <laughs> big up you guys for listening, um, yeah, th that's pretty cool that people from a different country are listening, I know I've shouted out a few countries uh, and cities uh, from previous episodes, but uh, yeah, I, I really yeah I appreciate it. Thank you for listening. This is uh, pretty cool, actually. I'm I, I'm quite happy that uh, you know I like I like the data as well. Like if you if you're not familiar with Anchor, the software, basically you just hit record, talk into it, and it distributes it all to like all podcast platforms. And uh, the the data is pretty, it's pretty simple to use, and um, yeah, I just look at the data now and again. Uh, I get a few plays. I get about five or six plays um, all together, maybe for an episode. But I'm I'm happy with that because making the episodes is just probably the best thing for me. I don't really want to look into too much of the data, but sometimes it just can't be helped, and uh, I just look at it sometimes. Also, I didn't even charge my battery for my camera, so I literally had the battery on charge for like 20-25 minutes uh, before I put it back in my camera. So YouTube, if this so happens to cut off, I will probably most likely play it from my iMac built-in camera. I have a feeling, hopefully, fingers crossed, that it won't die out, my camera, because it's on, like, the second battery, uh, like, icon image. Like, it's not fully charged, but it's on the second battery one. If it goes flashing red, I'll let you guys know, and uh, we'll finish it off on my iMac if it does so happen to cut off. But, yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. We're in September again. Uh, again, I say, this... This year's just flown by. Uh, it's kind of got like a different vibe though. I don't know if you guys get this vibe. Um, I know especially in the UK, like everybody goes back to school in September. And there was always this like September vibe of like, I know when I used to go to school, like when you wake up in the morning and it's just like pitch black. 
and it's like oh man and it's like that first day at school you just can't be bothered to go and you're just thinking in your mind why do I have to go whilst you're putting your uniform on whilst you're eating your breakfast whilst you get in the car to go and it's like oh my god I'm here do you know what I mean but I I'm not getting like that type of vibe this month obviously with everything going on uh, it's not actually a bad day uh, today it's uh, well the sun was out a minute ago I don't know where it is now but oh, it's just round the corner but but yeah, it's uh, it's not a bad day. You know what it is, delivery days as well. So I'm going to get that gym session in through the delivery days. Um, but yeah, let's get in uh, to episode 21, what we're going to talk about. So as you guys know, we're doing the four topic format. Um, so uh, I hope you guys are liking this format. Like I've said previously, if I'm going to go in, in depth on a topic, I'll probably just stick to one. But for now... We're doing four. Um, so just to give you a bit of a brief understanding of what each topic is. The first topic is about David Blaine, his um, stunt that he's about to do. Uh, the second one is practicing magic. Uh, I just want to let you guys in into that world just a little bit, um, not giving anything away. Uh, and the third topic is YouTube. Um, I just want to tell you guys something about it. And the last one is last minute planning, basically. I don't know why I wrote that. Obviously, that was last minute. Uh, but I'll look at my notes on that. Anyway, but but yeah, that's, that's basically what I'm going to talk about today. So let's get in to the first topic, which is David Blaine. Right, so this isn't about like how David Blaine's like uh, inspired me in magic and stuff. This is about his latest stunt. Do you want to call it a stunt? I don't even know. The guy's crazy, but he's, he does some amazing stuff, man. Like, if you guys don't know about this, what he's about to do, um, I hope I get this right. If I pronounce Ascension, Ascension, that's... I'm really bad at stuff like this. That's basically what it's called, David Blaine Ascension. It's on his YouTube channel. Um, so basically, the stunt is, he's going to take 52 balloons, I believe. If I've got that wrong, I've probably made a mistake, but what I've read is 52 balloons. So imagine, just 52 balloons by the string, he's going to hold on to that and fly... I'm not even messing about, you guys think I'm joking. He's going to hold on to that and fly with the balloons. Like, the balloons are going to, like, hold him up. And originally, he was meant to do this on the 31st of August. Now, the day that I'm recording this podcast is the 2nd of September, okay? But obviously, he postponed it from the 31st because of the weather conditions and stuff. He couldn't do it in that. Um, so, he rescheduled it for the 1st of September but obviously it was the same conditions and now he's doing it today so today is the 2nd of September of the recording of this video so if you guys have not seen this or heard if you guys are hearing this on the 2nd of September he is doing it 1.55 p.m. UK time I believe Okay, or just search on his YouTube channel, David Blaine. If you guys are watching this after 1.55 on the 2nd of September, then go on to David Blaine's YouTube channel. Because I don't know, but maybe he might like leave the whole event on his YouTube channel. I don't know, but just check it out anyway. Um, but yeah, where was I? So basically, he was meant to go from New York to New Jersey literally holding the strings of the balloons whilst they're carrying him like flying from New York to New Jersey but obviously now because it's rescheduled uh, he's going to New York to Arizona uh, I believe have I got that right or is it the other way around um, but yeah I looked into it just a little bit and <laughs> the guy is going 18,000 feet okay Correct me if I'm wrong, because I just looked this up. He's going 18,000 feet, up, like, up, with 52 balloons, like... 
That's crazy, man. Do you remember that movie, Up, that Disney movie where the balloons were holding up the house? David Blaine is literally doing that, but he's just holding on to the strings of the balloon. Like, it's crazy, man. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, that's uh, something that I'm going to watch today. I've hit my reminder up on YouTube. I know, like, all the Magic community is going to be watching him uh, anyway. But uh, this is just uh, me telling you guys a bit about it. Um, if you do not know already so definitely check it out because I'm sure just me telling you that he's holding on to strings and flying up in the air is uh, more than enough to watch this uh, and it's on YouTube as well so who hasn't got YouTube but yeah that that I remember when I seen the first trailer of that it, it was like I was thinking what's he doing because I just seen a balloon like floating and then I was I put two and two together and I was like, oh no, David Blaine's gonna do the most David Blaine thing ever. And he's gonna oh, it's just you you can't process it, can you? You can't process a person actually flying like my man's going from New York to Arizona, like I don't know how far that is, but I'm guessing it's far, okay? Um But yeah <laughs> I'm I'm really excited. So Please support David Blaine if you haven't already and, and check it out. If you're watching this, hearing this on the 2nd of September before 1.55, make sure you're there at 1.55 on YouTube. I hope I've got the time right. If I haven't, just go on his YouTube channel. Uh, if you're watching this after the 2nd of September, check out his YouTube channel. Hopefully it, the video will be there or search it wherever you can uh, because you do not want to miss it. If he's rescheduled it, he's rescheduled it. Obviously, you want to do it in the safest way possible, even though it does not sound safe at all. Um, but yeah, that's David Blaine for you. Um, oh, it's just, I still can't process it properly. Um, but yeah, make sure to check it out, guys. Moving on then. Moving on. I think that was the quickest first topic I've ever done in this four topic format um, but anyway let's get into uh, practicing magic okay um, so how, how do I put this you can tell this is our last minute guys um, but it obviously practice let's let's just get like practice forget magic just practice first Practice is different for everyone, okay? Everybody has different ways, uh, different methods of practicing, okay? I know when I first started off um, getting into Magic and Curious, I used to practice um, literally like nearly all day, um, just in my bedroom, uh, like card moves, sleight of hand, etc., um, just basically because I loved it um, doesn't mean I don't love it now but it just means um, for practice like it evolves um, I know for me it's evolved uh, over the years and uh, like say if somebody did uh, practicing first uh, their method would obviously evolve uh, perhaps as well um, but but yeah it's um, hold up just got something on my phone Oh no, it's fine. Um, but yeah, uh, for me, it's all about perfect practice. And I watched this um, Netflix documentary. Uh, it's um, I think it's Richard. T it's called Dell. Is it Richard Turner? I'm really bad with names. Uh, it's called Dell anyway. And he said that practice doesn't make perfect. Uh, perfect practice makes perfect and that did really actually hit me because he's right perfect practice does make perfect well you can't be properly perfect there is debates on that all right but what i mean is like if you practice let's say 10 minutes a day and you're putting all your focus on perfecting let's say a, a sleight of hand move right if you're practicing like say 10 minutes a day in like two sessions so 10 minutes in the morning, you're just putting all your focus on that sleight of hand move. And then obviously you're doing the rest of your day 
and then 10 minutes at night, you're focusing all your effort on that sleight of hand move. Okay, yes, you've done 20 minutes worth of practice a day, but if you do that consistently for a week, you know what I mean? You've done 140 minutes worth of practice, okay? Let's say compared to somebody that's practicing all day for like five hours, okay? And then being burnt out on like the third day because they've done 15 hours worth of practice and then for the rest of the week they're just like oh no I can't because mentally it's in their mind like you've just done so much let's take a break do you know what I mean but that doesn't necessarily mean that the person that's done five hours worth of practice is better than the person that's done 140 minutes because in that five hours you could have literally just got you know you could get distracted you could do other things you might not necessarily be practicing one piece of sleight of hand move you could be practicing um different moves in one rather than focusing on just one um like sleight of hand move i know that's what i've done in the past because then if you're focusing on different moves you're not really perfecting just one you're trying to just get a range of like sleight of hand moves and this will be debatable what I'm talking about but I'm just telling you stuff that I've been through and I tend to now just focus on one thing uh, try and perfect that and then move on to the other rather than doing like three or four in one day and then moving on because for me I feel like I burn out pretty easy if I do more than one thing in one day like sleight of hand move, card move, this and that I try and just focus on one and then just move on to the other once I feel that it's like performance ready or like I'm willing to do it like properly for a video or on camera or something like that. Um, so yeah, if that, if you guys can relate to that in any other way, if you're not a magician, like if it's for, I don't know, like a skill that you're working on or like some sort of like job you're in, let me know uh, if you agree or disagree. I'm trying to get it from like both different like perspectives that I've had in the past. Uh, but but yeah, let me know uh, if you agree or disagree with that. Because looking back on what I've just said, it is debatable. But I'm just telling you guys what I've um, been through and done. Um, I'm still figuring it out. Uh, but I like to work on just one thing and then get that out of the way once I feel like I'm comfortable enough that it's performance ready and then do it. But I feel like doing it in like a perfect way. Not like a perfect way in like just trying to get this correct. Like um, in a slot where you can just put all your focus on that rather than, rather than like watching a video in the background and then doing it like I want to put my 100% focus into it rather than giving it 50% of my attention and 50% of my attention somewhere else if that makes any sense um, so yeah that's kind of like a bit of a, a dabble or insight in to practicing magic I'm sure that can be related into any other like topic or other sp like sport or whatever it is. You don't have to be magic, but obviously I'm a magician, so that's kind of where I'm coming from. So yeah, that is practicing magic. Um, well, we're 18 minutes in. Uh, if you guys have made it this far you know, a clap for you guys, man, thank you for, you know, coming this far, but the third topic I want to talk about, and I'm just looking at my notes here, what I've written last night, because I was hell of a tired last night, okay, so this is YouTube, and I've talked about, I think I've talked about this in a previous episode about like YouTube how I'm like going for just videos content that I like and I'm not going for likes and subscribers 
that is still the same for me. Um, but that's not um, what I'm here to talk about for YouTube. Uh, I've recently hit over 50 videos. Um, I put like a LinkedIn post a couple of months ago. It must have been two or three months ago saying that I've hit 30 videos. And I was actually really happy. It was like a, a mini accomplishment for myself. It wasn't a target. I didn't like write down like I'm going to hit 30 videos, 50 videos, uh, 100 videos. It was just something that I just so happened to when I just counted all my videos it just happened to go to a straight 30 and I wrote a LinkedIn post about it and uh, I think it was a couple of days ago uh, I was just counting it again and it was on like 51 and or 52 something like that and I realized that oh my gosh I'm over 50 videos already like I started the YouTube thing this year in February obviously it dropped off in March like I've said and then it picked up in April again. So I've been making, personally for me, consistent videos from April to now September. So April, May, June, July, August. So five months, uh, I've been pretty consistent. Uh, and I'm just really happy with it as well because it was, for me, I was thinking too narrow. So I was thinking uh, about what I could do for magic to put in my, into my YouTube video so I wanted to make like a magic video for every YouTube video and that made me overthink and I ended up kind of like reducing the amount of videos I put on YouTube and then slowly it just went off uh, but me making different pieces of content now such as this podcast video that's going on YouTube um, what else do I put on YouTube? Like, let's say like a, a a standalone creation video, like the five pound munch. That was like the first one that I've done in a long time. Uh, that's a YouTube video. Um, I do vlogs as well, so the vlogs go. So that's like three, and then I cut up like small mini clips from my podcast episodes. From it could be this one, or like from previous, like all the way from twenty to one. I, I make mini videos off that as well. So that's like four. So that's not thinking narrow anymore. That's like I've got four different options that I can post any day I like. And it's basically stuff that I like doing. So I don't force the podcast. I don't force the mini clips. I don't force the vlogs. I don't force the creations. It's just something that comes in mind that I want to do. Uh, and I feel like that's the most, that's on autopilot now. I hope, fingers crossed. Like I don't feel like I need to force myself to do something and then just stick it on on the internet because it's going to be there forever like let's say if I put this on now and let's say tomorrow I don't like it I delete it some of you are gonna watch this already and listen to this so it's not like it's gone forever uh, I just got to interrupt what I was saying because YouTube my my battery is flashing red so if this does turn off um, I will uh, stick it on my iMac the rest of the recording but anyway where, where was that yeah so I'm just making content that I'm happy with uh, yes I'm putting a lot of quantity out so like I'm hitting 50 over 50 videos now um, but my quality will come from the quantity um, so I'm kind of making videos that I'm happy with and as you can tell by the five pound munch video it's not like the best production or something like that but it's something to start with and uh, maybe like if I'm doing another creation video it will be more up to par uh, than maybe the previous video that I've done as well so yeah that's that's something uh, that I just wanted to get off my mind about YouTube videos for me I'm not thinking about like where I'm going to be in five years time on YouTube I'm just thinking like now in the present um, I don't really have a plan for my YouTube channel at this moment of time it's just videos that I, I like to put out and just creating content that I like just to put out there for you guys to see or even listen to on the podcast so yeah that's just a bit about YouTube so finally we're going to go on to the fourth topic 
and it's called Last Minute Planning. And I didn't write much actually <laughs> on this topic. Uh, so I'm going to go just at the top of my head here. Um, but it's something uh, that, you know, maybe you can all relate to uh, that I've done many times before. Um, like stuff that you've got going on uh, in your day. Uh, and you've got some sort of task to do or some sort of uh, like video to make um, try and get like obviously if your day's like busy like mine has like my schedule you guys know I work in a shop so that's kind of like the priority there so if I've got something going on I try and like I don't beat myself up about it anymore so my planning I, I kind of like taking like a half an hour to 45 minutes just to plan my stuff this is 15 minutes worth of planning just because I needed to get some sleep as well I was pretty tired so um, so this episode that you're watching or listening to it's just been 15 minutes worth of planning but it's stuff that I like to talk about so if I didn't like to talk about any of it I don't know what I'd be talking about right now um, but you can always fit stuff in into your day but if you feel like your day is being clustered with stuff that were unexpected like don't beat yourself up about it um, try and like maybe like take a break or like just get some sleep or whatever and then do it after because I would have totally beaten my if this were last year I would have totally beaten myself up uh, like mentally I mean like just say like Ricky why didn't you take time out to do this um, and uh, this probably would never have happened but yesterday I found 15 minutes uh, of time um, and I just did what was at the top of my head I looked at previous episodes notes that I hadn't really talked about wrote it down and here we are we we're 26 minutes in to this and uh, I feel like it's a pretty decent episode it's not the best but look I'm, I'm trying and I know next week I'll probably smash it out the window uh, compared to this week. But I'm just saying that if you guys have a task and you haven't done it properly, like don't beat yourself up about it. Just go and do it either the next day or like take an hour out of your day just to rest and then just do it after. Like that's basically last minute planning for me. I don't know if that made any sense at all because on my notes I just said say what's on top of you on the top of your head so that was on the top of my head guys but you know what we're gonna end it here guys um, we're gonna wrap up so I appreciate all you guys the Apple podcast the Spotify the anchor listeners I really appreciate you all for listening YouTube thank you for watching guys I really do appreciate you all uh, like rate on Apple podcast if you want uh, subscribe um, yeah just shout outs to all of you man I hope you guys stay well keep safe my name's Ricky Tura have a great day or night wherever you are <laughs>